Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Anya and this is Anya's Tarot and the Law of Time. I hope everybody's doing well. I don't read reversals and please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And also please like, subscribe and share if this is resonating with you or it would help me, help me out tremendously on my algorithm, okay? Let's see, get that out of the way. I don't read reversals, so. This is the nightmare before Christmas. Let's see what we got. King of, King of Needles, which is King of Swords. I'll turn those towards you so you can see them better. Then we have, that's what what's going on right now. Somebody is contemplating a situation and maybe doing a little manipulation here, okay? The outside influence and the, and the solution. Okay, the outside influence is the 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Presence. So on the bottom, we have the four of Pentacles needles or the four of swords so some healing is going on here for you all right the ten of pentacles speaks of of presence of families of gifts uh and this is what is being presented and why there's a contemplation of what to do acceptance is key because this is a healing okay and this is Virgo energy. This is Hermit energy. So whatever is going on here, it looks like you've withdrawn, taken back your situation in a way that uh, suits you and you're not sharing that with anyone. You're in solitude, okay? That, that is Spirit's advice to, to go within and seek your answers because you know, some things that are presented to you, this is like content, look at the guy's got his thinking, hmm. Um, sometimes things are, seem to be better than they really are. That's all I wanna say. Yeah, this is justice, this is the past. Oh wow, okay, yes. This is your wish, is to release these burdens. We have 1010 10 now. And on the bottom of that, we have the Queen of Swords, which is Queen, King and Queen of Swords, basically. So we have a perfect couple here. I'm gonna clarify those with another deck. It's justice over the past, whatever that means to you. This is, like I said, the gifts that are coming in is justified because it was a past situation that may have thrown you for a loop. You are working at seeing the bigger picture, the, the seeing through the illusion, seeing through the possible attractiveness of someone and working at solving that puzzle, okay? And when you go within, you will understand your true power and your hopes of dropping these burdens, whatever they might be, will be rewarded. I mean, it, your hopes will be justified because they're gonna come to fruition, right? Yeah, yeah, there's the Queen of Swords again and the King of Cups. So this, this may be a relationship, guys. This may be a relationship that you, you're dealing with. Hanged man, stuck in it and hanging on, yeah. Now I'm feeling like this is almost a divorce because we have emperor and empress coming out together. So this, this could be divorce or marriage. I'm feeling almost like an arranged marriage here. That's, I don't know what, because of the mother and the father. And then we got two queens and a king, two kings. So we have a King of Cups, a King of Swords, or the King of Needles, 
um, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and then maybe you need to seek advice from a mother and father. Okay, that's this is spirit's advice is dropping the burdens. Don't hold on to this for yourself. Discuss it with others like your parents. Okay? Don't feel like you're trapped because this is trapped energy. This is hanging on to something because of a financial situation and being stuck about it. We also have Pisces on the board, Virgo on the board, Taurus, and Aries and Aquarius. So, oh, Libra too. So any of those signs you could be dealing with. And on the bottom of that, we got justice again. Okay, so this situation, although it may be tricky and sticky, which is what I'm seeing, uh, you're gonna need to get advice from your, your family, I believe, to uh, make this what you want it to be. Uh, you could have a choice between two and you may need some advice as to where to go with that. But one of those choices is going to be quite heavy and you have to understand that. Yeah, you got true love here. One of them is your true love and the other one, there are religious factors involved or your spirituality that's being questioned because there is some deception here. Somebody is wearing a false mask. So as I'm feeling before, there is a choice between, I don't see the two, two of wands here, but from what I can see from the 1010, one will be burdensome and the other one will be a gift. So it's justice. You just have to let go of something in order to get unstuck, okay? You have to see the truth. That's what swords are, the Queen of Swords is all about. Is she's about, you know, uh, cutting away what no longer serves and getting to the bottom of the truth because somebody here, that is why Spirit's asking you to go within. It's because somebody is not being honest. Yes, this is prosperity begins in harmony. You have to find this for yourself. You need to emotionally withdraw from everything right now. Because I feel like I feel like it's like a tornado. Like you can't get your center because there is a win here. There is a very big win here. But you're not seeing it because it's like a tor tornadic energy. Like, like you can't get your grounding. And I know how hard that is for, for Gemini sometimes because I'm a Gemini moon, so I get it. Let's see where your ascension is. And then I'll pull a couple twin flame cards or love oracles. I call them twin flame cards because they have twin flames inside them. Let's see where you're at on your ascension. Whoa, Ooh, yeah. See, that's why you're being asked to go within and realize what what's the truth. What's going to bring you to that creative spark and doesn't deplete you. Okay? So you, you need to go within. This is community. So this could be family, as I said before. The family is involved in this heavily. And like I said, there's going to be a choice between two. One is going to be give you everything that you want, the family, the home, the children. And the other one is going to bring you a lot of I'm feeling an energy vampirism here. Like one of them is sucking the life out of you. And the other one is where your harmony is and your and your your prosperity is. So you need to pull back your power right now and take a look at the overall picture. Yeah. There's an addiction here. There's somebody who has 
some sort of addiction. And this doesn't have to be substances. It could be pornography. It could be people. Codependent obsession, possession, controlling has a block or restraint. So somebody has a block here. There is a block regarding this entire situation. That's why you're being asked to pull back and ask for advice from family and people that you trust. Okay? Let's see what else we got in here. We got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of the future. Yes, like I said, these are different energies. And on the bottom, we have the phoenix. Wow. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So, you are going to change your mind about whatever is being hidden from you. Because you, you're going to see the truth for what it is. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to do these. These are my own. I'm going to do two separate energies with these for you. Um, one will be for each person that you're dealing with because I do see two different situations. So, first situation, we got text message. Somebody's going to be sending you a text message. Second situation, energy vampires. No way. Time to lift the veil. Like I said, these vampires can come in all different shapes and sizes. They can even be family members. But you're, you're realizing it before you self-destruct. So that's very good. Let it flow. Like it. This person can't pay their bills. They have very low self-esteem. mental issue broken this person is oh there's another one underneath wow so neither one of these people are being honest yeah I do see a lot of uh, abundance with one of them but I'm a liar and what are you gonna do that's I mean the abundance is there let it flow but this person has a mental issue. They have, they're a liar. Just plain and simple. They, and, they, and they don't even care that you know. The other one's an energy vampire. And it's time for you to go. Time for you to lift the veil. Because they can't pay the bills and got low self-esteem. Drained of energy. You are being depleted by these two energies. Wow. So the realization, not every story is the same. So the realization of what you're, you're coming to the conclusion of is this is depleting your energy. This is, this is making you, sucking you dry. And you need to go within, maybe to a safe place away from all of this because your prosperity is about to begin. And justice is here, baby. So whatever you put out, you get back three times three. So if either one of these are your stories, you're going to get that back. If this is the story between the other two energies in your life, they're going to get that back. Time has sped up, guys, and so has karma. So remember that. Well, that's all I have for you today. I know it wasn't exactly the most positive reading, but um, it did explain a lot. So, I will see you guys next week. If you'd like a personal reading, the information will be below. Always accepting donations. And likes and subscribes are just as good as donations. So... See you next week. Till then, stay safe, stay well, take care. Bye-bye.